In this video, I'll show you three examples of metric pipe schedule calculations. The first one will be just a single pipe, empty. Second one will be a bunch of pipes, empty. And the third one will be a single pipe with water in it. Let's get started with the first one, just a single piece of pipe, empty. The pieces of information that you need are all in the pipe schedule. I'm going to zoom in in a short while. First off, what you need to get the calculation done is you need the outside diameter of the pipe to conclude or to uh, learn what uh, size the pipe is. You need the size of the pipe to look up the appropriate rows and columns in the table. You need to measure the wall thickness. I'm just going to go wall th, wall thickness, to learn what SCH, what schedule the pipe is, so you can again find the appropriate data in appropriate rows and columns. So let's get started with first things first pipe size, outside diameter. Pull out your tape and measure across, and it is about 60 millimeters. That's pretty close there. Let's find this 60 millimeter pipe. Let me see. Here I have 48, 42, those don't work, uh, 88, 60. There we have 60.325. That's pretty much the closest there is. So indeed, this is a 60.3 millimeter outside diameter pipe. Its nominal size is a 50 millimeter pipe. So we'll be looking for the information only within this part of the table. One of these rows will work. Next one, I need to measure the wall thickness of the pipe. It's fairly straightforward, but it can be tricky again because of the decimal millimeters. Let's see how we're faring with this one. Let's see, I hold it this way so you can see it with the camera there. We call it five millimeters. That's pretty close to it. Five millimeters. I measured five millimeters or oh, the outside was 60 mils so that's a 50 mil pipe you don't need a history lesson believe me why a 60 millimeter pipe is a 50 millimeter pipe and the wall thickness was five millimeters so let's look at the the wall thicknesses let me see 1.6 3.9 5.5 I think that's our line of information there, 5.5. The wall thickness was 5.5, outside was 60, so it is a Schedule 80 pipe or extra strong. So we have extra strong or SCA Schedule 80 pipe. Now, we need a certain length of it to calculate. Well, this one is, say, uh, 0.2 meters. Let's see how much this weighs. If the pipe is, where do I write it? Here. Length 0.2 meters. How do I know? Uh, let's just uh, let's just pretend this is 0.2. It's not, but just work with me on this one. 0.2 meters. What I need from this table is that number the weight of the pipe per meter, kilograms per meter. So one meter of it weighs 7.461 kilograms in the Schedule 80 row of the 50 millimeter pipe. So 7.461, I'm going to write that number down, 7.461 kilograms per meter. Okay, what you need to do is you multiply the length of the pipe with the weight of it. So all there's left to do is 0.2 multiplied by 7.461 equals equals 1.49 
22 kilograms. And that's your final answer for how much does 0.2 meters of this kind of pipe weigh. Let's do another one with a bunch of pipes in it. Say, let's pretend we have for nominal size, let's say we have 90 millimeter pipe and let's pretend it's schedule uh, well schedule 40 and we have one meter because that's how you read a tape measure first you have one meter is there the 100 set 100 there that's one meter you we have one meter and 20 centimeters one meter 20 centimeter and eight millimeters that's the total length of a pipe okay it is one meter 20 centimeter and eight millimeters that's the total length of the pipe so we need to know how much it weighs and you know what of this length we have 14 pieces because we needed to cut 14 pieces of this to size and it's gonna be all uh, lifted with a crane we need to know how much it weighs first things first the length it needs to be just one number okay so how do we do this the one meter is 1.0 meters the 20 centimeter plugs in at that decimal uh, digit that's gonna create the tenth digit in this measurement and that eight millimeters is gonna go there the, the millimeters are always in the thousandth columns okay so that measurement was converted to meters if you need a refresher how to do this find one of my videos titled converting metric within metric or something like that so that's the length of the pipe in meters now we need to look at the pipe schedule we need to look at schedule 90 no no we need to look at pipe a 90 millimeter pipe schedule 40 the 90 millimeter pipe data is here the 90 millimeter so I'm only going to be looking at one of these five rows the schedule 40 information is there contained in that row that I kind of underlined with this envelope and to find how much one meter weighs you need to look at the pipe weigh so one meter is 7.388 7.388 schedule 40 90 millimeter pipe 7.388 okay times 7.388 and because we have 14 pieces of them, we need to times it by 14 as well. Equals. 14 times 1.208 times 7.388. Oops, now that's a negative number now. Let me fix it. 7.388. 388 equals 124.9 kilograms that's the final answer to this question last one with water in it and it doesn't look good we'll just write it on this side here let's see we have 125 millimeter pipe we have 17 meter, uh, 2 decimeter, 1 centimeter, and 7 millimeters worth of it. And it's a 125 millimeter pipe. Let's go with schedule 10 strong. That's the schedule number. And, uh, and it's full of water. I'll show you how this works. First thing first, the length. All this, I just need one figure again. 
70 meters is 17.0 meters. The two decimeters is the tenth digits. The one is a hundredth digits, and the millimeters are always the thousandth digits in a meter calculation, like so. So that would be just the one figure that we have, and we only have one of this pipe, but it's got water in it. So we need two weights that we're going to times this by. The first weight is the pipe itself. Let me see. Schedule 125 is here. Schedule 125 is, not schedule 125, sorry, 125 millimeter pipe is here, and it's schedule 10S. So, here's my handy envelope. 125 pipes are there under my thumb and schedule 10S. We're going to be looking at that row that I underlined with the envelope right about there. And we go to the column. This column here, weight of pipe. Oops, I moved it. It's important that you track your lines accurately. One meter of it weighs 11.545 kilos. 11.545. 11.545. Kilograms for every meter. So you just need to times those two, and then you have the water in it, and the water will weigh the weight of water is here in the next column, and for our schedule 10 pipe, 125 millimeter pipe, there the water in this pipe weighs 14.206 kilograms. 14.26 kilograms for every meter length. That's what per meter means. What you need is times these two. We're gonna have a result for these two and then we'll just add it all up. So 11.545 is 11.545 is there times it by the length 17.2, not wrong button, 217 equals 198.77 kilograms. That's for the, that's for the pipe alone. That's the pipe. Next one is the water. And you can multiply these in any order, but uh, they should uh, have the same final result. Next one is 14.206 kilograms and we have 70 meters worth of it so times it by 17.217 equals 244.58 kilograms that's the water so I'm just gonna go H2O so now we need to add 244 plus, uh, 244.58 plus the 198.77. 198.77. I'm just gonna go two decimals, it's easy. It's 443 plus uh, 0.35 kilograms. Plus, you don't need grams and whatever. You just need to know it's 443 kilograms plus a little bit of change. So, that is quite heavy. That's about a third of a passenger vehicle's weight. 443 kilograms. So that's how to do these pipe calculations with metric pipe schedule. Just practice it and uh, come to class with uh, these calculations practiced. And uh, that means that you do these calculations at a reasonable rate of speed say one of these calculations under two minutes would be nice.